morning guys it's uh, just before 6 a.m i'm already packing up I've got the sleeping bag here just wanted to show you how misty it is outside so the good news about that is no one can see me packing up the bad news is the tent's going to be soaking wet when i roll it up but what can you do i need to get out of here so I'll pack up and go and I'll find a spot to cook somewhere down the road the sun should come out soon and then we can sort everything else out anyway let's get going Hi guys, so I'm packed up and everything outside the field where I slept and it's still very misty like you can't see and there's a truck coming but I can't see it like it's about if I had to guess about a 10 meter visibility with all the mist and I'm not going to cycle in that that's crazy so especially with these trucks they won't see me So I'm just cooking quickly and uh, I'll, I'll have a hearty breakfast, some oats, love me some oats and then once that's done I'll hit the road, oh this is quick, I'm using those field tablets, it's already starting to boil the water, that was very fast though, it's not even five minutes, maybe I used too many, I used about three and a half tablets because one of them broke, so I used it. There's usually just three tablets should do the job. Um, so yeah, let, let me finish cooking. That water is boiling, so let me finish that. And then I'll hit the road once the mist clears. I miss my little stool that I had. I really miss that. Now I have to sit on the ground. Which isn't as much fun as that little stool was. But what can you do? Anyway, catch you on the flip side. It's about 7.30. All packed up, ready to go. Mist has cleared. In a weird way, it's still all around. If you can see there, there, you know, there. That's all mist still. All the way around me. All the way around me. But at least where I am, the mist is cleared, so I can hit the road without fear of trucks running me over. So yeah, let's uh, get going. It's gonna be a good good day, I think, because the town I'm heading to is only nine kilometers away, so I can stock up on water there. I still have 1.5 liters left, which is sufficient, I think. And then nine kilometers, I get to the town, and this specific town, when my oldest sibling was was still a baby, my parents used to live there, so. My dad sent me the address of where they used to live and I'm gonna gonna check it out maybe see if it has changed all that much well I won't know but my dad will be able to tell if it's changed a lot over the years probably has I don't expect it to be in the in the best condition these old towns tend to go backwards so far the only town that's really not gone backwards i would say is middleburg they're really really keeping it up up to standard there and it's very clean um there's also a cycling community and everything so anyway let's get going nine kilometers that's an easy maybe hour and a half of slow cycling or an hour if if i don't have too many uphills I can knock it off in an hour and I'll be there in, by morning and then I can keep going from there and find a space, find a spot to sleep between this town and the next and then um, yeah I mean Aramon is the one I want to go to the library to so and that can only happen tomorrow because today's Sunday so I have to find a spot to sleep just before the town um, that would 
yeah, it's difficult finding spots near towns, but I mean, this one is only nine kilometers away. So hopefully I'll find something similar to Armelua. I can get there by nine then when these libraries tend to open and then keep going from there. I'll probably cycle into the night tomorrow again like I did last time when I spent the day in the library. But it won't be as bad this time because I'll expect to do that. As long as I, I get, uh, get those videos edited and uploaded, it won't bother me at all. But last time I couldn't even get them uploaded because the internet was too slow and, you know, it was just horrible. So if I can get that sorted, I'll be happy. So yeah, let's get going. Here's an unpleasant sight for you. I assume the car rolled, burnt out, and they just left it. That's not good, but anyway, it's a straight piece of road, or stretch of road. There's a bend there at the back, way back. So, losing control on a straight, there must have been external factors. Anyway, it's not a good sign, it's not something you want to see. That misty morning is turning out to be a very beautiful day. There are no clouds in the sky, except those little mist clouds still uh, hovering over there if you can see that I mean look at that view rolling hills green green pastures it's just breathtaking anyway I have a nice downhill but the road's crap so I can't really enjoy the downhill I have to go slow because these bumps and stuff are just horrible. Anyway, let's keep going. So I'm trying to find that house that my parents stayed in, but the numbers end and the number he gave me was is not in this road. Unless they renumbered everything. Anyway, this is a very strange place find fancy houses and then just across crappy houses like those and this hill oh man my word this hill I just came from there started at the other end came up this side I have to go up there but yeah I couldn't find the house which is disappointing I think that would have been cool to see but anyway, enough messing about, time to get back on the road, find a garage for, for water, and then leave this one horse down. There's chickens in the road, and goats again, but at least this time when I saw the goats, there was someone walking with them, you know, obviously leading them to, to places they can graze and whatnot, or home, I don't know. Probably this early in the morning, it's taking them out for the day. But at least they were supervised. It's a, it's a whole different world from what I'm used to in Pretoria. Everything is, you know, in its proper place. There's cars in the road, so there's no animals in the road and stuff like that. This is completely different from that. But it's why we're here, to see different things, so why not? Anyway, I'm going to keep going. Cheers. Hi guys. It's about 12 in the afternoon. I'm just cooking lunch. I'm only about 15 kilometers outside of the town of Ermelua. And I decided that I want to go into the town tomorrow, obviously to use the library. So, I need to find a spot for the night. Now, I think I found one. It's very rocky and stuff, but it is hidden from the road. And I'm also busy drying out the tent that I had to pack up with all the condensation and dew on it still this morning. It picked up a lot of dirt from the 
field I was sleeping in and uh, you know made mud but I couldn't sort it out there because I had to get out of there as quickly as possible so yeah I'm just drying those out so that I can dust off the dirt and then I'm cooking lunch and there's no shade here but I think that spot over there is well hidden from the road and I'll probably end up camping there for the night um, I feel a little neck burn I've been trying to keep it covered but you know the wind blows the way it, it wants to so I can't always keep it covered so yes once lunch is done I'm gonna feel great because I always feel better after a good meal I'm cooking this maize meal with soy mince and brown onion soup with some chutney on as a, a sauce um, I'll get some protein in from the soy mince as well which will help I need to get salt I don't seem to have salt and I need salt I started having muscle cramps uh, last night and that's a very good indication that I'm not getting enough salt in and I know that that's true because I haven't been putting salt in any of my food because I don't have salt with me so I'll probably end up getting salt in Aramula as well so well at least then everything tastes better with salt the, the soy mince does have a lot of salt in so when I make that you know there's no, no shortage of salt in my, in my system but it's the only thing with salt in the oatmeal and on its own doesn't have salt so that'll also help with the taste of that um, yeah so I'll, I'll spend some time here finish lunch and then probably end up spending the night depending on how safe I feel towards the late afternoon like it's still early now I haven't seen anybody walking past or heard any voices or anything so if it stays that way I'll be fine but there's been a train that stopped right there behind me and it's very noisy when it does that it's not going anywhere it's just chilling there so I don't know what the purpose is but if that happens during the night I'm gonna be annoyed if it wakes me up so but we'll see anyway I'll show you what lunch looks like when I'm done and then uh, I'll find a way to, to waste some time. Probably pick a shade. There's no shade there. I looked. There's these little shrubs. Over there, those shrubs, they don't really cast shade in this direction anyway. I guess it's noon, so there's no direction for shade at, the, at this point. But yeah, so we'll see. I'll see what I do. But yeah, made good time. I thought it was going to take me like two days to get to, to Armalua and I, I'm almost there I had to stop myself spend time next to the road so I don't want to go into the town too early because I need to be there tomorrow when the library is open not on a Sunday so yeah we'll see so that's lunch guys As you can see, I've got the tent pitched. It's only about 2 p.m., but it's so warm and there's no shade. So I've put up the tent just to get out of the sun a bit. I've burned my neck. I could feel it. So I just needed a break from the sun. If no one actually walks by or anything, I think I'll be fine to sleep here. You know, with the tent pitched where it is it's not as visible to the road so it should be fine the heat is excruciating though it's so warm 
and it's hard because I still don't have a mattress. My inflatable mattress is deflating at night, so I'm not using it anymore, which means I'm pretty much sleeping on the hard ground, which is fine. Ironically, the body seems to be getting used to it. I just have to uh, toss and turn a few times at night, but other than that, I seem to be adapting well to the hard ground. Yeah, the sun is burning everything up. It's so warm. Anyway, I'll uh, update you again tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna chill a bit in the shade of the tent, although it's hot as hell. Um, I might nap or something, I don't know, from the heat. But at least I'm out of the sun, so that already helps. And then I'll update you again tomorrow. Anyway, catch you on the flip side.